Good morning everyone. My name is Vishwas. Today I am going to explain you certain important topics of our chapter number 2 is matter around the sphere of class 9 science. So what is evaporation? Evaporation is basically the process of conversion of liquid into gaseous state at any temperature below its boiling point. Matlab, water evaporate or a gaseous state mein ja hai. at any temperature kisi bhi temperature pe jo uske boiling point se kam hai that is known as basically evaporation right and in this case it absorbs heat from the surroundings aas paas ki jagahon se heat absorb karta hai okay next is how can you obtain colored components from blue black ink now activity is well, half a beaker with water. Half of the beaker with water. Put a water glass on the mouth of the beaker. Beaker ke upar ek wash glass ho rakhenge. Okay. Then, what we will do after this, after putting the uh, wash glass on the beaker, we have to provide heat and we have to uh, add a few drops of uh, ink on the wash glass, right? So what will happen in this case is after uh, providing few drops of ink on the water we have to provide heat uh, with the help of uh, burner. So continue heating the evaporation goes on and stop heating when you don't see any further change in the watch class. So you will see the watch class ke upar ink in the watch class. There will changes in the watch class. What changes in the watch class? There will be a colored component and water evaporate. Ho so now answer what do you think have got evaporated from the wash glass so kya evaporate hua hoga wash glass se water obviously is there a residue on the wash glass yes what is the interpretation this ink is a substance pure or it is a mixture so we will find in the mixture of dye and water what will happen you will obtain uh, die on that particular wash glass and the water will get evaporated due to the process of evaporation and in this way we can separate a volatile component from a non-volatile component volatile means that is uh, easily evaporated at low temperature and non-volatile means that uh, needs a higher temperature for evaporation see this this is a kind of figure and what are the application it is used for separating salt from water sugar from water and method is mix some ink into water and heat after some time the water will evaporate leaving the colored substance that is dye behind this is the difference between volatile and non-volatile substances so volatile substances are those which readily transfers into and non-volatile substances are those are not transferring to gaseous state so at a lower temperature it needs a little bit higher temperature for uh, converting to gaseous state have a high vapor pressure non-volatile have a low vapor pressure so it has a low boiling point it has a high boiling point it have a weaker molecular attraction that's why it uh, goes on evaporation process uh, or it uh, it gets evaporated at a very uh, low temperature and it has intermolecular particles so it needs a large amount of energy in order to carry out the evaporation process okay now next is centrifugation so centrifugation is basically a process in which uh, we can separate two immiscible components or uh, uh, two components uh, that are not uh, mixed properly uh, a higher denser or a lower denser fluid we can separate so how we can do that so let's take an example of how can we separate the cream from milk. Nowadays we get full cream stone, double stone, which is many varieties of milk that is available in the market. These varieties of milk contain different amount of fats. So uh, let's perform an activity. Take some full uh, cream milk in a test tube, centrifuge it uh, using a centrifuging machine for two minutes. If a centrifuging machine is not available in the school, you can do it at your home using milk churner in the kitchen. So you can take help of your mother. If you have a uh, military nearby, you can visit it. They will be having a large drum in which they used to separate uh, milk and cream. Uh, 
Next is now answer what do you observe on the or you can churn the milk at your home. Explain how the separation of clean from milk takes place. So what will you observe in this case? Sometimes the solid particles in a liquid are very small and pass through the filter paper. And for such particles, we can use the filtration technique. But evaporation we cannot use for the separation of uh, two mixtures. So such mixtures can be separated by centrifugation. The principle is that the denser particles are forced to the bottom and the lighter particles stay up uh, at the top and spun rapidly. So lighter particles upper a jayenge or heavier particles or denser particles kya honge settle down ho jayenge in this case in case of centrifugation and application circuit is used in diagnostic laboratories for certain urine tests using days uh, to separate water from cream and used in uh, washing machines to squeeze out water from wet clothes. Nowadays all those smart washing machines are using this process. So separating butter from cream, squeezing out water from wet clothes are the main advantages of this. And uh, milk is put in centrifuging machine or milk churner, the cream the separate from that we have already done. But the process is using a separating funnel to separate two immiscible liquids, let us try to separate calcium in oil and water from a separating funnel. So pour the mixture of kerosene and water in a separating funnel. So what is a separating funnel? See this. Now this is a mixture of basically kerosene oil and water. So low density uh, liquid will remain at top and the high density liquid will remain at bottom. So in this way uh, what we can do is we uh, have tap the open karenge. so high density fluid separate out or jayega and over here low density fluid will be removed as high density fluid will be removed you can close the tap in, uh, in this way you can separate uh, water and uh, kerosene oil so uh, out of water and kerosene oil which is a uh, higher denser fluid you just write and comment in the comment section out of water and kerosene oil which one is having higher density and which one is having lower density so kindly put in the comment section so this method is basically used to separate two uh, immiscible liquids or two uh, liquids which are having a uh, little bit gap in their densities so to separate the mixture of oil and water in the section of uh, i don't know if you can use this method and the principle is that the two immiscible liquids separate out in layers depending upon their densities. So, on densities, we use the two immiscible liquids to separate out. Kar sakte, right? Okay. Next is sublimation. To separate a sublimable component from a non sublimable component, let's take an example of an ammonium chloride changes directly into solid uh, to uh, from solid to gaseous state on heating. So to separate such mixtures uh, that contain a sublimable uh, volatile component from a non-sublimable impurity, so we can use this process. What we have done in this case, uh, we have taken a burner, we have heat to the china dish and the china dish that is containing ammonium chloride salt in that, uh, which is called a funnel, inverted funnel on it. And that inverted funnel is uh, closed from the top. Uh, with the help of a cotton plug, when you will heat uh, the ammonium chloride, which is still in the form of salt in China dish, so what will happen in this case is that due to the heat, the ammonium chloride started going to the gaseous state directly without converting into liquid state. So when it uh, cools down at the top, what will you observe? Why we have put a cotton plug over here so that the ammonium chloride vapor should not go out, right? The ammonium over here and to solidify after some time so you will observe there will be some ammonium fluid deposited over the terminals of the inverted funnel so application is uh, ammonium chloride camphor naphthalene salt uh, all these things can be separated out so method is i have already told you we heat the mixture in an inverted funnel and uh, the mixture should be kept in a china dish it sublimes in the air and settles over the walls of the funnel in order uh, you can separate uh, these uh, components and by using this method right so this much for today chromatography we will uh, teach you in uh, next video
stay updated stay stay at home stay safe help your family thank you and have a nice day when a solid directly changes into its gaseous state on heating the process is called sublimation let's do an activity take some camphor in a china dish and place an inverted funnel over it now plug the stem of the funnel using some cotton after this start heating the dish slowly using a burner after some time you will notice that upon heating camphor vaporizes without transforming into its liquid form later on you will notice that the vapor gets cooled on the walls of the funnel and directly converts into solid camphor sublimation dear students sublimation is the transition of a substance directly from the solid to the gas phase without passing through an intermediate liquid phase sublimation some solids change directly from the solid state to vapor state on heating this process is termed as sublimation it is used to separate sublimable organic compounds from non sublimable compounds the impure organic compound is heated in a dish covered with perforated asbestos sheet over which an inverted funnel is placed the stem of the funnel is filled with cotton on heating the part of the solid which sublime pass through the holes in the asbestos sheet and condense on the cooler walls of the funnel the non sublime impurity is left in the dish topic sublimation why do mothballs disappear over time mm. <laughs> wow you have a nice collection of clothes <laughs> But have you kept mothballs to protect them? Yeah, yeah. I'd kept them a few months back below these clothes. Hey, where did the mothballs go? I placed them right here. Did you steal them? No, no. I haven't stolen anything. Mothballs mm. disappear over time. Do you know why? Mm. It is because of a process called sublimation. During uh -huh. sublimation, a solid on heating converts directly into vapor without passing through the intermediate liquid state. Don't lie. How is that even possible? See, I also hit a burger here many days ago. It did not disappear. Ooh, gross. Just throw that burger in the dustbin. <laughs> not all substances sublimate. Huh? Mothballs are made up of nap filling. Naphthalene ah. has very weak intermolecular forces. Because of these weak forces, the mothball, which is made up of naphthalene sublimates, that is, it changes its state from solid to vapor. <laughs> now, this vapor is either absorbed by the fabric or it oh. escapes into the atmosphere, <laughs> causing the mothballs to disappear over time. Hmm. <laughs> A handy centrifuge machine, muddy water, mixture of calcium carbonate and water, four centrifuge test tubes. Take the sample of muddy water and place the test tubes in the centrifuge machine. Now take the calcium hydroxide mixture in the test tubes and also place them in the centrifuge machine. Rotate the machines fast for few minutes. Stop rotating. Remove the test tubes and observe. 
we see mud particles and white precipitate have settled in each of the test tubes. This is the process of centrifugation. In a centrifuge, as we rotate, the substances experience centrifugal force away from the center, which forces the materials against the wall of the tube. The amount of centrifugal force experienced by any object depends on its mass and the speed of rotation. The components of a mixture get separated because the denser particles are forced to the bottom while the lighter ones stay at the top. So with an increase in the speed of rotation, even lighter materials can settle down. Centrifugation is used in diagnostic labs for blood and urine tests. It is used in dairies and homes to separate butter from cream.